I'm Richard Bilderbeek and I will show you the this is my second video about how to do open science as an example uh, which is the way I do it um, so in the previous video I discovered why uh, di discussed why you should do open science and, and those kind of things in this video I want to describe the setup how to do it and the setup uh, the goal of the setup is to uh, repeat the research yourself and in this setup we'll only do stub of the research not even a script at all we just create a, an article like a PDF uh, other goal is to obtain uh, to let something else I don't know yet what repeat it that's what you want uh, that it's repeatable and also you want to obtain a timestamped version so the next step is we need to create a github repository um, to obtain uh, timestamped versions. So we're going to create a GitHub repository called K3 article. Uh, it's not important yet what it will be about, but we're going to create such a GitHub repository. So we go to github.com. Um, of course, I already logged in. Um, and uh, it's free to use, so that's why it's good. We click on uh, new repository. And we're going to call it K3 article. Um, article about artic article about okay, uh, an open science research on K3, whatever that is. Uh, we're public, we use uh, the GNU General Public License 3, we initialize with a readme and we create our repository. So now we have a website where we can put our work and also we can create a timestamp uh, by uh, making a new release you can do that here the next step will be to copy a similar repository so that means some piece of code that already does more or less what we want um, so there's a link here in which I'll be using the repository called Travis make PDF LaTeX which uses GNU make I'll be using that uh, to convert a LaTeX file like your article to PDF and what we can see there's already Travis which we'll be using it shows that it works which is great Travis checks if it really works and uh, we just need to copy uh, so there's some code here there's a Travis file I'll describe more about that later there's a make file to make it to make a PDF from the tech file and there's the tech file itself which contains a stub of an article so this is what we want we want to use that as a it's a good starting point like if you use some from some other setup you use a different starting point but at the moment k3 article is a bit empty so to fill it up we're going to copy these files to the to k3 to do that i just uh, clone them both locally so i copy the git clone bam so we have k3 article there this is the other PDF LaTeX. Clone that one as well. Bam. Mm -hmm. Git clone. Mm. All right, so that should work. Let's take a look in our. Um, so where is it? So here we have Travis PDF LaTeX. Let's move it a bit to the left so we can see better. Move it a bit to the left so we can see better. Great. Oops. So we have this is our Travis thing. That's the thing we need to copy. That's the example. And here we have the K3 article. So we also copy the hidden files except for the .git folder. Dot, like git keeps track of the versions, and that's important. Um, because then we can have a history and we can also have a time stamped version on github that's what we want um, i won't copy the license file but i will copy the readme as well and i will modify it so this is a k3 article i'm just going to override everything which is only the readme and then i have my first version already uh, and of course we're going to um, get the status course you're going to push it already to github um, ruthless copy the push and now we have 
copied a similar repository to K3 article. The next step will be to repeat our research ourselves using a makefile. So in the terminal we go into the uh, uh, location of the, the article, we're going to use make. And now it has created a PDF. I can see it. QPDF view uh, article.pdf. And there it is. It says hello. That's all it does. That's great. It's a stop. It works. Uh, if I do make now, nothing needs to be done because I haven't changed the tech file. So that's how we, uh, how, do, how we do it locally. Now we only create a PDF, but there will be more. Uh, so we're going to edit our article. It's latech content. And an article has a section called an abstract. It has a section that's uh, just copy. It has a section called an introduction. It has a section called a methods. It has a section called conclusion. Conclusion. It has a section called discussion. And that's it. So uh, here we've wrote, written the stub of our article. Like it's good. If I do now, if I now do make, it will create a new PDF. Let's take a look if it looks correct. It looks correct. So what I just did is I repeated the research myself using a make file. It's simple. So well done. The next step is to repeat our research by uh, Travis CI. So Travis CI is a service. It's free. Uh, if you push some new version to GitHub, it will automatically do its magic and try to create a PDF from our LaTeX file, we'll call the make file basically. And um, uh, that's how we can confirm that our research can be done by something else. First, we need to activate Travis CI. So I already logged in. So this is Travis CI on my account. And we're just going to look for K3 article. There are multiple ways to find, uh, to, to find it. It's here. And we just need to activate the slider. And now when I push a new version, it will actually run. So uh, there are no builds for this repository yet. That's correct because I did do nothing. Uh, so let's do something now. So the next step will be to set the Travis build batch and make Travis repeat it. So with the build batch, I mean, if I go to the K3 article, this is the Travis build batch, and it shows that it builds, but it doesn't build our K3 article yet. It builds the Travis make PDF LaTeX uh, repository, so we're not interested in that. Although, and it is in K3 article, so it's there because we ruthlessly copied it. Well, this file is called readme.md. We're just going to replace PDF LaTeX by K3 article, and we're good to go. Let's do that. CD key three article mousepad readme and we're going to replace uh, the whole thing by k3 article replace all then we close save uh, I can't remove that stuff yeah. git add dot git commit use correct build badges and I think yeah, we're going to let Travis do the research just by doing a git push. Uh, it sees a new version and it will do the research. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. So if you click on build history, you really will really need to refresh it. So it says now already use correct build batches. That's great. It's now starting up. It's not doing, it's not running yet, but that won't be long. Uh, we can already take a look at our K3 article. If I refresh it, you'll see that the words have changed. And there's it's already passing for some reason. Uh, but develop doesn't pass yet. I use two branches. That's not very important for now. Uh, but it's running. And in this way, we can verify that uh, the research can be repeated by Travis. So Travis will also uh, run make on itself. You can actually see that. If we take a look at the repository, its log, its config file, then you can see that all it does is call make, which we just did on our local computer. So in that way, we can assure, be, be assured that Travis 
will do exactly the same thing uh, on its virtual computer than we do on our local computer. So that's how we can reproduce our research by something else. Our last step will be to add a timestamp to our article. We can see that Travis, the build has passed, so that's great. Uh, we can see that in our build batches, and we're going to add a timestamp um, to indicate what we did today. So we're going to releases, and there we're going to create a new release. I like to call it version 0.1, maybe a bit smaller, version 0.1, version 0.1 and we just call it the setup and in that way uh, we know uh, we have a timestamp that we cannot change it's it's uh, by github all right so in this video i showed you the complete setup with the goal that we can repeat the research ourselves using make to repeat the research by travis so that's something else and also we have obtained a time stamped version and in the next video I'll be describing, uh, we'll actually write part of the article, uh, again, mostly stubs, but focusing on the hypotheses, that's the most important thing. Alright, that was it, and uh, I wish you a good day, bye.